Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ona de Guzman and our topic for today is the relationships of interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon for grade 7, quarter 3. So whenever we talk about interior angle, it is an angle on the inside of a polygon formed by each pair of adjacent sides. On the other hand, exterior angle is an angle formed by a side of an extension of an adjacent side of a convex polygon. So specifically in this math tutorial video, we'll talk about some of interior angles of a polygon as well as some of exterior angles of a polygon. So before we proceed to our topic today, let's try this a little bit experiment. So we have the name of polygon as well as the illustration, the number of sides, number of triangles form, and the sum of interior angles. So let's consider here if we have triangle. So it means that this is our illustration and we have actually three sides. So the number of triangles form is equal, is only one. So therefore the sum of the interior angle is one times 180 degrees is equal to 180. Next, we have quadrilateral. So it means that we have four sides. So the illustration is this. We have four sides, uh, four sides polygon. And we can draw actually two triangles okay, with one diagonal. So we have two triangles formed. So the sum of the interior angle is equal to two times 180 degrees, which is equal to 360 degrees. Next, we have pentagon. It means that we have five sides. So our illustration is like this, and we can form up to me one, two, and three. So we have three number of triangles form. So therefore, we can say that the sum of the interior angles is three times, okay, 180 so this is equal to 540 degrees okay can you see a pattern okay let's continue if i have hexagon it means that i have okay this illustration and it means that i have six sides so i can okay draw one two three three diagonals so if i have three diagonals it means that i have actually four triangles form. So in order to find the sum of the interior angles, I can have here 4 times 180 is equal to 720 degrees. Next, let's have heptagon. So we have seven sides and this is the illustration. So I can draw actually 1, 2, 3, and 4 okay, diagonals. So it means I have five triangles form. Can you guess the sum of the interior angles? Yeah, you're correct. So we can have actually five times 180 degrees, which is equal to 900 degrees. So if we will continue the pattern, if I have say for instance n gone, it means that is the number of okay, sides. Okay, so we have the number of sides is actually n. So that is three or more. So the number of triangles from the pattern, what we have a while ago, so we have here, if we have six sides, we have actually, okay, four triangles formed. If I have seven uh, sides, I have five triangles formed. So what do we think for N? What is the number of triangles formed? You're correct. So that is actually N minus two. What about the sum of interior angles? So the sum of interior angles is actually, okay, n minus 2 times 180 degrees. In short, in order to find the sum of interior angles, so that is actually the number of triangles form, okay, times 180 degrees. Okay, to discuss the formula, we have here the interior angle is an angle on the inside of a polygon formed by each pair of adjacent sides. 
while the exterior angle is an angle formed by the side and the extension of adjacent sides of a convex polygon. So therefore, we can have actually the formula that the sum of the measures of interior angles of a regular polygon is equal to S, that's the sum, is equal to N minus 2 times 180. So it means that is the number of sides minus 2. So remember that this is uh, N minus 2. This is the number of triangles formed. Okay? To recall that N is equal to the number of sides of a polygon. Moving on, so measure of each interior angles of a regular polygon. So that is, okay, N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. Finally, we have the measure of each exterior angles of a regular polygon that is 360 degrees divided by N. Take note that if we will add all exterior angles of a polygon, the sum is equal to 360 degrees. So let's apply our knowledge on the previous example. So let's compute for the sum of interior angles of a convex decagon. So recall that if we say decagon, it means that we have 10 sides. So we will use that S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. So therefore, that is 10 minus 2, substitute the value of N, which is equal to 10. So we have 10 minus 2 times 180, so we come up with 8 times 180, or S is equal to 1,440. So therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a convex decagon is 1,440 degrees. Let's move on to problem number two. Given the figure below, find the measure of angle C. So we have here figure okay, or the plane C A R E S and angle A is equal to 75, angle R is equal to 150 degrees and the number of sides is equal to 5. So first, let's find out first the sum of the interior angles. So we have N minus 2 times 180 degrees. So simply substitute the value of N, which is equal to 5. So we come up with 5 minus 2 times 180. So that is 3 times 180 degrees. Or the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 540 degrees. Now that we know the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, therefore, so guys, the sum of all angles, meaning to say measure of angle C plus 75 plus 150, and take note angle E and angle S are right angles. So that is why 90 each is equal to 540. So we have measure of angles is equal to 405 plus Oh, is equal to 540. Then subtract both sides of the equation by, okay, 405. So we come up with the measure of angle C is equal to 135. Let's move on to problem number three. Find the measure of an interior angle of a regular dodecagon. So take note that if we say dodecagon, it means we have 12 sides. So we have, okay, we will use this formula, measure of each interior angles of a regular polygon, okay, so that is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. Take note that our n is equal to 12, so simply plug in or substitute. So we have 12 minus 2 times 180 divided by 12, or we come up with 10 times 180 divided by 12, so we come up with the measure of each interior angle is equal to 150 degrees. Next, let's move on to number 4. If a certain polygon's sum of interior angle is 2,700 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? So first, we have the sum of the interior angle is 2,700. And we want to find out the number of sides. So we start with our formula of sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular polygon, that is actually S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. We know that the sum is equal to, okay, from the given, okay, S is equal to 2,700. So that's why we simply substitute that. 
So we have 2,700 is equal to n minus 2. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 180. So we come up with, okay, 2,700 divided by 180 is equal to 15. Then we can factor out 180 and 180. So that's why we have 15 is equal to n minus 2. Then add both sides of the equation by 2. So we have n is equal to 15 plus 2. So n is equal to 17. So therefore, okay, the polygon has 17 sides. Let's move on to problem number 5. So given the figure below, find the value of n. So recall that the sum of the exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees. Meaning to say the sum of this angle, 80 degrees, plus 120, plus the value of n is equal to 360 degrees. So if we will add together, n plus 180 uh, plus 120 is equal to 360. So we have actually n plus 200 is equal to 360. Subtract so both sides of the equation by 200. So we come up with n is equal to, okay, 160. So therefore, we can say that the value of n is equal to 160 degrees. Let's move on to problem number 6. Let us consider the illustration on the right side. So we have triangle HAT. Okay, find the measure of each interior angle in the triangle HAT. So angle A has 3x minus 10, angle T has x plus 15, while angle H has x plus 40. So recall that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So it means that if we will add x plus 40 plus 3x minus 10 plus x plus 15 is equal to 180 degrees. Put together all the variables and constant, so I can have here x plus 3x plus x is equal to 5x, while 40 minus 10 plus 15 is equal to 45. So I have 5x plus 45 is equal to 180. Then subtract both sides of the equation by 45, so I come up with 5x is equal to 180 minus 45 or 5x is equal to 135. Since I want to find out the value of x, divide both sides of the equation by 5. So I come up with x is equal to 27. Now, to find the measure of angle x, which is equal to x plus 40, substitute the value of x, which is 27. So I have measure of angle h is equal to 67. On the other hand, if I have measure of angle A, so that is 3x minus 10, substitute again the value of x of 27. So we have 3 times 27 is 81 minus 10 equals 71. Finally, we have angle T is equal to x plus okay, 15. So substitute x by 27. So we have measure of angle T is equal to 42. By inspection, if we will add 67 plus 71 plus 42, the sum is equal to 180. Let's move on to problem number 7. Compute for the value of x in the measure of each exterior angle of the quadrilateral below. So let's consider this figure on the right side. Okay, so take note that the sum of the exterior angles is 360 degrees. So therefore, if we will add 6x plus 2x plus 40 plus 4x plus 10 plus 4x minus 10, so that is equal to 360. If we will put together all the variables and the constant together, so I have here, okay, 6x plus 2x plus 4x plus 4x, so that is equal to 16x, while 14 plus 10 minus 10, that is equal to 40, which is equal to 360. So again, if I subtract both sides of the equation by 40, so I come up with, okay, 16x is equal to 360 minus 40, or 16x is equal to 320. Divide both sides by 16, so x is equal to 20. Now that I found out the value of x is equal to 20, 
So measure of angle T is equal to 6x, so that is 6 times 20 is equal to 120. On the other hand, measure of angle E is equal to 2x plus 40. So substitute the value of x which is equal to 20. So I have here measure of angle T is equal to 80. Next, measure of angle T D is equal to 4x plus 10. So I have 4 times 20 plus 10 is equal to 90. And finally, measure of angle A is equal to 4x minus 10. Substitute the value of x which is equal to 20. So I have 4 times 20 minus 10 is equal to 70. Again, by inspection, if we will add 120 plus 80 plus 90 plus 70, that will sum up to 360. Alright, so let's move on to problem number 8. A convex heptagon has exterior angles with measures 30 degrees, 33 degrees, 45 degrees, 54 degrees, 67, and 79 degrees. So what is the measure of an exterior angle at the 7th vertex? So recall that the sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. So it means that if we will add, okay, the value of x, which is the 7th uh, exterior angle, so we have x plus 30 plus 33 plus 45 plus 54 plus 67 plus 79. That is equal to 360. So again, if we will add all the constant, so we come up with 308. So we have x plus 308 is equal to 360. Then subtract both sides of the equation by 308. So x is equal to 52. So therefore, we can say that the measure of an exterior angle at the 7th vertex is 52 degrees. Let's move on to problem number 9. So find the measure of one of the exterior angles of a regular hexagon. So recall that if we say regular hexagon, it means we have 6 sides. So that is n is equal to 6. So for this problem, we will use this formula of measure of its each exterior angles of a regular polygon is 360 divided by n. Now that the value of n is equal to 6, simply substitute that. So 360 divided by 6, so that is equal to 60. So therefore, we can say that, okay, once in our one exterior angle of a regular okay, hexagon is equal to 60 degrees. So that ends our topic on interior and exterior angles of a convex polygons. So again, this is Teacher on the Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you and have a